Uh, hi, my name is Kemi Sarouchni, and I'm talking to you today uh, as part of me as member of the Applied Machine Learning Days uh, Africa for this second edition, uh, 2022. We came to Ben Gurir in Morocco, uh, and for that, we first want to thank uh, the University Mohamed VI Polytechnique for having us, and also thank our partners that allowed to, uh, this event to happen, uh, namely um, Kingdom of Morocco through Rita Mesour uh, and also the OCP. Um, maybe to give you a bit more information about Applied Machine Learning Days, this con conference is about democratizing the machine learning and uh, more broadly artificial intelligence, but being focused uh, on the challenges that the African continent is facing. Uh, I can name a few, healthcare, education, agriculture, all of those sectors uh, are uh, more now more than ever in need for innovation. And uh, through this conference, we're, we're hoping that uh, the different speakers, uh, keynotes and workshops will, will bring more information and uh, solutions uh, to, to those challenges. Um, also, this event is about uh, youth because we really want to empower uh, African youth and talent students uh, everywhere in Africa because we know they have the abilities and they have the know-how. And through this conference, we want to show them that everything's possible through machine learning and AI solving, tackling our challenges. Because uh, at the end of the day, we are the ones that feel more responsible for those uh, challenges in the sense that we want to we wanna solve them, uh, not that we are causing them. And uh, also an, an important thing is that this event is taking place here in, in physical format, but it's also transmitted online. And we're being followed by uh, 13 different hubs uh, across Africa. Uh, I can name uh, Tunisia, Nigeria, Uganda, uh, and so on and so forth. But that's the, the, the key idea behind this, that uh, people are behind this conference. Uh, we have many viewers, and we are hoping that uh, this will be a, a stepping stone and a blast for more, for more uh, um, initiatives uh, throughout the continent. Our format is really one that uh, we're hoping people will like and follow. Uh, we're hoping that every, with every edition we'll be uh, going into a different country in the sense that this, this conference is really about Africa and we want to be able to represent everyone uh, and, uh, and especially everywhere. I think it's important to say that machine learning is really a, a disruptive technology in the sense that uh, some really compare it to the, in to the appearance of internet or electronic mail. So in that sense, uh, it's really uh, how uh, now using and leveraging data uh, or historical records, we're able to use informatics and, compu and uh, computer science to be able to predict uh, things in the future. And this particular s uh, sentence, this particular case, can find many different applications. I can give you a, a, a quick example. Uh, for instance, uh, OCP, one of uh, our partner, was lecturing uh, earlier about how they were using uh, machine learning and AI to be able uh, to predict uh, and uh, to predict the quantity uh, of uh, phosphatus and optimize the, their production line. Uh, we're also uh, having different applications in the agriculture sector. For instance, how to uh, use machine learning to be able to recommend crops uh, for, for farmers to, to, to maximize their yield, but also how to use machine learning to predict the irrigation scheduling so that, again, we maximize the yield. So there are many different applications of, uh, of machine learning and artificial intelligence. It's just a matter of uh, tackling the right problem with the right solution.